Now, in the media world, it's commonly known that certain news networks have a tendency to promote the ideologies of certain political parties. And it's no surprise that Fox News, under the direction of Roger Ailes, often serves as the mouthpiece to the Republican Party. But what is surprising is the way the network reacted after Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist Tom Rick spoke his mind on Fox News about their role in propagating criticisms of the attacks on our embassy in Benghazi. He seems to be backing away from that. What do you make of it? I think that Benghazi generally was hyped by this network especially, and that now that the campaign is over, I think he's backing off a little bit. They're not going to stop Susan Rice from being Secretary of State. When you, when you have four people dead, including the first UN ambassador, U.S. ambassador in more than 30 years, how do you call that hype? How many security contractors died in Iraq, do you know? I don't. No, nobody does because nobody cared. We know that several hundred died, but there was never an official count done of security contractors dead in Iraq. So when I see this focus uh, on what was essentially a small firefight, I think, number one, I've covered a lot of firefights. It's impossible to figure out what happens in them sometimes. And second, I think that the emphasis on Benghazi has been extremely political, partly because Fox was operating as a wing of the Republican Party. All right. Tom Ricks, thanks very much for joining us today. You're welcome. Do you think you were rude? And tell us what happened afterwards. Um, I thought I was answering their questions. You know, is it rude to tell the truth? I guess sometimes. But, you know, the job of a journalist is to see what happens and to state it. Sometimes it hurts people's feelings. Well, you, you know, you say you were answering their questions. Of course, they allege that you were ignoring their questions. Here we have a statement uh, from Michael Clemente, the executive VP of News Editorial at Fox News Channel. He said, when Mr. Ricks ignored the anchor's question, it became clear that his goal was to bring attention to himself and his book. He apologized in our offices afterward, but doesn't have the strength of character to do that publicly. Your reaction? That's horseshit. All right, we'll leave that one at that. Well, uh, they did actually follow up. We heard that you told The Hollywood Reporter uh, to follow up with them and, and get specific as to what the apology was. Right here, uh, this is the response, of course, saying, I'm surprised by the general's utter dishonesty. I'll refresh his memory. What he said following the segment was, sorry, I'm tired from a nonstop book tour. Perhaps now he can finally get some rest. Now, Tom, we know that you sent an email uh, to Fox News trying to clarify, but could you clarify for us whether you did apologize and, and whether, you know, saying you retired from the book tour actually was an apology? No, I did not apologize. After I walked out, after the interview was over, I came out of the little studio. I first saw Brett Baer, uh, a Fox anchor who uh, he and I uh, know each other from when we both covered the military at the Pentagon. And I talked to him, and it was a cordial conversation. He said, do you really think what you just said is true? And I said, yeah, I think you guys have been hyping it. It's not Watergate. It's a story, but it's not the major story you guys have made it into. Um, and I also complimented him on, on his weight loss, which I envy. And then um, I actually went down the hallway and uh, saw the producer, but she was talking to a guy I knew, uh, a friend of mine, uh, Major General Bob Scales. And we were actually talking about the... Uh, we, the book review he did of my new book in Foreign Affairs magazine, which was one of the least complimentary review, reviews the book has gotten. And so we were sort of chatting about that. And he said, you know, no, no harm intended by that review. And I said, no, I mean, General Scales, you know, you say what you believe. I have no problem with that. Um, and I think then the producer, Booker, or whatever she was, said to me kind of what just happened there. And I said, look, when that guy just started blathering about pressure increasing in the White House. It, it's not increasing. And it kind of, I think Tom Ricks just hit his blather limit there. And, uh, um, you know, I, I maybe because I've been on book tour so long and I'm tired. But, no, it was not an apology for what was said at all.